Okay, boys and girls, let's get started. For our project today, we are gonna make these adorable llama heads, okay? Now, I'm giving each of you two paper plates so you can decide if you wanna make one white, one brown. You could make both of them brown, both of them white. You can add any details you want. So you can really let your uh, creativity go wild, but this is just a starting off point for you. So let's set those to the side and let's get our supply packet. What you will need today, of course, is your paper plates. Now it may look like one, but if you pull it apart, it is actually two. And you will need your uh, little packet of uh, pom-poms and uh, yarn. You will also need your watercolors and probably some um, marker if you want to paint the insides of the ear pink like that. So the first thing that you need to work with is your paper plate. So let's get started on that. You may have noticed that the sides of the paper plate are cut off. Let me show you on this one, it shows a little better. And then these pieces are used for the ear. So it actually only takes one paper plate per llama. So I'm gonna go and show you where to draw that line. There is a little circle that's drawn right there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that is where you want to draw your line. It's a straight line, right like that. And then I'm gonna draw another one on this side. I think you can probably see that pretty well. And that is where I'm going to cut to get my ears. These paper plates are pretty thin, so I don't think you'll have a hard time cutting them. And if I don't like that pencil on there, I can um, erase that. So I'm just cutting right next to the circle. See how I did that? The circle's still there, but I cut off right to the edges. Now these are gonna be our little ears. Before we do that though, I wanted to show you how to make the side of your uh, llama. The reason we make it curvy is it makes them look a little more fluffy and furry. So if you wanna do that, you can. If that's too hard, you certainly don't have to do that. It's just a line that looks like this. It's just a wavy line and you can either draw it on there or you can just take your scissors and just go ahead and cut. It doesn't have to be a perfect wavy line. In fact, I'm gonna do the same thing along the top and I'm not even gonna draw the line. I'm just sort of, see how I'm just sort of moving my scissors in that kind of a shape? And that's curvy right there. The bottom is the neck, I'm not gonna make that curvy. And then this is the other side. Just a little bit of curviness like that. Again, you don't have to do that. But if you think that you would like your llama, let me put it against here so you can see what it looks like. If you would like your llama to have curves on the side, in fact, I'm gonna curve that a little bit. That is how you do it. Now, if you are going to make your llama white, you do not have to paint it right now, okay? You would just um, leave it white. Uh, and then I'll show you how to put that together. One other thing I notice is I think it looks good if you round the ears on the top. See the difference? I just took my scissors and made it a little round. Again, you don't have to do that. You can have your llama with more pointed ears as well. So um, if you wanna leave it white, like I said, you would just leave it like this. I am gonna go ahead and make this one brown. So I need to find my pink marker. Let me see if I can, there it is. And I'm gonna color the inside of the ears pink. So here's one ear, here's another one. Lots of different ways that you can do this. I just like to draw a little shape like that. Color that in. Uh, if you want, some, some people like to make the insides of the ear dark brown, or they like to make it black. So that's really up to you. Some people think the insides of llama's ears look sort of pink because it's their skin 
without any fur on it. So here are my ears, here's my face, and this llama is brown. Now, there are black llamas, but if you make a black llama, it's gonna be hard for you to see the nose and everything that you draw. So I would probably vote for a brown llama. And if you have a thicker brush, you can get that. This is sort of a medium sized brush. And you may notice that as you paint your llama, it flattens out. These little curves, uh, the way the side of the plate curves up, go away a little bit, which um, makes it a little uh, easier to work with. So if you notice that, uh, I had the same thing happen and I was sort of, sort of happy about that. So I would go ahead and I would paint the whole head. Now, if some parts are a little lighter than the other, you can go ahead and give it another coat. I found that when it dried, if it was all different um, shades of brown, it actually made it look a little more furry. So what you think you may not like now, when it dries, you may end up liking that. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint the rest of that and let it dry. And I also have to paint my ears. Now my ears are a little bit trickier because I'm going around the pink that I made for the insides of the ears. So you probably don't want your paint to be super runny because then the water might run into your pink. And again, you know, in uh, nature, in real life, probably llamas do have a little bit of brown on the inside of their ears because that's just the fur that's getting in the way. So very carefully, I don't even think the bottom part of my ear is gonna show, but I'm just gonna paint that a little bit. So there's one ear. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other ear and finish my face, and then we'll come back and we're gonna glue the whole thing together and we're also gonna put that sweet little face on there. Okay, so let's finish up our llama. Everything is all nice and dry and you can see it did sort of flatten out a little bit. Now, there's a couple different ways that you can do the face. This llama has both eyes closed and sort of a heart-shaped nose. This one has one eye open and one eye closed and more of a triangular nose. So I think I'll show you how to do both of the eyes. They can both be open if you wanted them to be. So it's really up to you. Uh, you can get the Sharpie that I gave you. And the first shape, it's just sort of like a almost an upside down U, but a little bit, almost like a little smile, wouldn't you say? Sort of like that. And on this one, we are gonna use, let's see, it looks like, um, I can't remember, this shape is a little, this is for the closed eye, so let's do the eyelashes on that. And boys and girls do have eyelashes if you're a llama. Okay, so there's one eye. Now let's do this one uh, more as an open eye. And you sort of have to play around with this a little bit. I think it's sort of that same shape like that. Let me smooth that out a little bit. Okay, and then that's, that's the bottom part of the eye. And then we'll do the top part of the eye. Um, let's see, sort of like that. Okay, and now we have to fill the eyeball in. So it's a big black circle like that. And it looks good to leave a little bit not colored black. Now I will say this might be a little bit more for the older kids to do because this is definitely a little bit trickier than the closed one. And then we'll put a few little eyelashes on here just like that. Let me fill that in a little bit. Okay, that looks like one eye is open and one eye is shut. Now for the nose, like I said, you can do a heart. For this one, I'm just gonna do um, an upside down triangle that has sort of curved sides. Again, I'm just gonna keep going until I feel I have what I'd like. I'm gonna color that all in. And then we don't want to go way down here because this is where we're gonna tie the yarn on. So make sure it's up a little bit. Then do that little shape and that little shape, that's the mouth. And llamas have a little chin. So we're just gonna draw a little chin like that. 
Now let's attach our ears. Now the way I did my llama, the straight part is on the inside and the curved part is on the outside. Now, if you put it really high like that, that's a little too tall for llama ears. So we wanna put it down a little bit more like that. And there's a couple of ways that you can attach this. You can use tape, you can use um, a, a stick glue, or a glue stick, or you can use your yellow Elmer's glue. I think I'm gonna use my glue stick. It's not quite so messy. You just have to put quite a lot of glue on. So I'm gonna really get that in there good. Then I'm gonna stick it like there, and then I'm gonna turn it, oh, you know what? I put glue on the wrong side. That's the curved side. I don't want that there. That was supposed to be like that. That's okay, I can still fix it. I'm gonna put my glue right here and that's gonna dry, so I'm not too worried about that. Now remember, we want the straight side on the inside, so I'm gonna add a little bit more here, and there. Looks like those ears are good. Really push it hard. I think those are gonna stay on there just fine. Now, let's get out our little bag with pom-poms and fun colored yarn. There's three kinds of yarn in there. This, boys and girls, is called variegated yarn. As it goes, do you see how it changes color? That's sort of a fun thing. Oh, we got a little bit of blue. You all have different kinds, so that's one choice. The other choice is more of a striped yarn, which is very fuzzy and soft. And then the last one is sort of this orangish color, bright fluorescent orange. You can use all of them on one. You can use one at a time. It's really up to you how you want to do it. I think I'll use this big one just because it's easier for you to see because it's a little thicker. So we want to attach the end on the back. Um, you could use your glue stick. I think I'm going to try tape. You can use masking tape. If you don't have tape, you can also use your glue stick, but I think that's probably the easiest. And then I'm just going to wrap it around like this. That's gonna to be too short, isn't it? It doesn't quite go, so I'm gonna to have to stop right here. I'm gonna to have to tape that. I'll tape it right where I started. And then I have to trim that. A little extra one, you know what you could do? You could make a fun little tassel. Sometimes llama have little decorations on the top of their ears. Oh, look, I still have my little glue left over. I think I'll stick that right there. Now I have lots of fun pom-pom colors to choose from. I think I want them to match what's in there, so I'm gonna get a purple one, I'm gonna get an orange one, I'm gonna get a yellow one. I think three is gonna be enough because these are really big pom-poms. And I can use these on my, other, um, on my other llama. You know what, I just had an idea. How about if I would take this pom-pom and cut it in half and I could decorate the top all. Oh. You know what, boys and girls? Sometimes good IG has just come to you. I'm gonna put a little glue stick on there and I'm gonna put my little pom-pom on the top. Oh, you know what? My, my pom-pom's sort of coming apart. Let's make that look a little bit more like a tassel. There we go. Hopefully that'll stay in place. And now I can use this little poof on my other ear. I like that. Okay, now time to attach the pom-poms. You might wanna use a blob of Elmer's glue and then let it dry for a couple hours. I'm gonna see how it works using uh, my glue stick. I'm gonna put a whole lot of glue on there. Let's see if that will stick. Well, that seems pretty good. If you do use glue stick, you really gotta put a lot on there. Put that right there. And if it comes off after a while, then I would recommend using quite a lot of Elmer's glue and leaving it overnight. Okay, I think my little llama is finished. It looks great. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, you can do the exact same thing with a white llama, just don't paint it. So I hope you had fun making your llama. Maybe you even added a few little decorations like I did. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.